Arsene Wenger received a warmer reception from the Old Trafford crowd than he did back at the Emirates after announcing his plans to leave this summer. Those in the corner where the red retractable tunnel leads out were on their feet, applauding. Sir Alex Ferguson gave him a vase and a small black case, one for law, maybe, and they shared a little hug. At one point, Jose Mourinho and Ferguson were tugging at Wenger from either side to show their appreciation. Two men who have thrown a lot of hatred his way, keen to pay their respects. Sir Alex Ferguson and Jose Mourinho greet Arsene Wenger of Arsenal pitch side prior to the Premier League at Old Trafford, on 29 April 2018. Clive Brunskill, Getty Images, Arsenal's supporters showed more passion telling Mourinho and their former forward Alexis Sanchez where to go from the stands, than they have done their manager ending a 22-year association with the club. It is all ending rather meekly for him. As it was in this match, yet another defeat as Arsenal fell further behind their top four rivals. Ben Gazend has been like those world champion heavyweight boxers who cannot stop fighting despite their closest aides begging them to go out on a high, over and over. Wenger has been jabbed punishingly to his knees, by the fans, by failures on the field and off it, finished off ultimately by a man in his own corner, Ivan Gazidis, although with a knife to the back rather than a right hand to the temple. As at Old Trafford Ferguson had plenty of nice things to say about his old rival in the match day program, though. There are some great clubs and some fantastic competition in the Premier League now, but United against Arsenal was great for the game, he said. It made the Premier League, read more, Arsene Wenger prepares to exit the Theatre of Dreams stage one last time it is a bold claim but in many ways the rivalry did. For eight years in a row the title switched between them in a stretch of time which signified the early boom in the Premier League. They provided the drama and the debate, the rose and the rage, the success and the struggles at the top that have come to define English football, now shared out amongst a few. They did not make football, but they played a significant role in what the Premier League has become. When Wenger steps aside in May, Bournemouth said he will be the Premier League's longest-serving manager. He has been at the South Coast Club for less than six years, only three of those in the top flight. Wenger leaving will mark the extinction of a rare breed of manager. It's a shame they couldn't get them to mate. Today, Wenger handed a debut to his 200th player, Konstantinos Mavropanos, his team selection with Atletico Madrid on Thursday in mind, a last opportunity to deliver Champions League football next season, should they win the Europa League. Also the Frenchman's final chance to win a European competition, having come so close in the Champions League. Early goal they fell behind early on, when Paul Pogba started a move with a run from halfway in pass to Romelu Lukaku to cross. Sanchez was denied a goal against his former club by Hector Bellerin's block onto a post, but Pogba was lurking to side foot in the rebound. Manchester United's French midfielder Paul Pogba celebrates after scoring the opening goal at Old Trafford, on 29 April 2018. Paul Ellis, AFP, Getty Images, Arsene Wenger, We Want You To Stay, rang around the whole of Old Trafford after the 17th minute opener. In a rare display of support the Arsenal Travelers replied, Arsene Wenger, he won the league here. Pogba was three years old when Wenger joined Arsenal. With the constantly changing hair, and appearing in a promotional video with Manchester United fan and Graham star Stormzy when he signed for a club record fee in 2016, Pogba represents a new football that Wenger, once at the game's forefront, can no longer keep up with at 68. With a weakened team Arsenal's equaliser arrived unexpectedly. Henrik Mkhitaryan struck a bobbling shot from distance and it beat David De Gea low into the left of goal, on 51 minutes. The Armenian, who signed for Arsenal in the swap deal with Sanchez in January, did not celebrate against a club he made 26 league starts for and represented for 18 months. Then in stoppage time Maru Anfellaini headed Wenger to yet another defeat in these parts. It was a long way for Arsenal's supporters to come to watch a second string at what was once their highlight of their season. It was a long way for many of United's supporters to come, too, although at least they got to see their side win before returning on the train back to London. As Wenger walked away for a final time, the result marked 4,242 days since he last won in the Premier League at Old Trafford, a number which will now increase into eternity. More from Sam Cunningham, Arsene Wenger prepares to exit the Theatre of Dreams stage one last time, unbelievable, Mohamed Salah can take Liverpool all the way in the Champions League World Cup heartbreak as Oxlade-Chamberlain is ruled out.